Welcome to Enox Engineering, I'm Alan. In today's video we're looking at turning between centres and setting the lathe up to do this. So let's go into the workshop, see how we do it. When you drill a centre drill hole in the end of a bar, this is the sort of shape you get formed in the end of the bar. And it's that shape because when the centre actually goes into the hole, it locates on this diameter here on each side and not on the end of the hole. This is clearance the end. That ensures you get a good fit on the tapered part of the hole. There's the actual centre drill. You can see the point on the end and the taper where the centre will locate. What I want to do is check that my centres are in alignment. To do that I've just got my dial indicator. Dial indicator fits into this steel bar. It has a brass bush in the end. And this little grub screw here will just tighten it up to nip it onto the dial indicator. That fits in there. It's quite firm as it is. So now I need to get some centres here. First of all, I need to remove the chuck, so I'll put chuck of wood on the bed to protect the bed. Steel bar that goes through the jaws. Just tap the bar. That slackens the chuck off. Now I can wind this off. And before I put a centre or anything on there, I'll just clean the bore. It's just a piece of wood, three bits of felt. Now this is the Boxford drive plate. It's just a plate, a bit smaller than the face plate. This one's got just a couple of holes in and a slot. That goes on. And that peg just drives the bar that I want to check. Just put the centre in. Now on the headstock, the centre will revolve with the work. You see the centre's revolving, the back plate's revolving. Now what's this bar for? This bar is the drive bar to turn your part. These are a set of driving dogs that I use. And what they are, it's just a ring with a V and a screw in the end. And the idea is you put your steel bar or whatever you're turning in here, that clamps to the bar and that V fits on the peg that's on the, the driving plate. This set has a spanner with it, but it doesn't need to be as uh, complicated as that. You can make them yourself. There are some that are made for different jobs. All this is two pieces of square steel with cap heads going through. This will clamp onto the, the bar that you want to turn and then the driving peg We'll touch this and turn the bar around. And you can make them in different sizes depending on what you're, you're turning. So I've got my dial indicator held in the tool post. I've changed the end to a flat end because if you have a ball riding on a diameter you can't check whether it's in or out or is it up or down as the ball goes along. I've got my bar that I want to use to test it. Put that between the centres. Just lock this centre. This is a revolving centre. This is a fixed centre, but it does revolve with the with the part. So the first thing I want to check is I know the bar's parallel because it's a ground bar. So what I'll do is move it in to zero on this end. Each division on the dial indicator is a thou. 
it's on zero on the dial indicator move it along there it's saying I'm five though out over that distance which is about eight inches so I can alter that on my tail stock so what I need to do is alter the tail stock I have a grub screw on the front and a grub screw on the back and I need to tighten the one on the back to reduce the dial indicator back to zero and slacken the front one off tighten the back one up that's zero there I've changed the dial indicator for one that has tenths on it so which division is one tenth of a thou so from zero to to ten is a thou let me zero this zero uh, half a tenth I'm not going to try and get any better than that so it's a half a tenth over about eight inches so now my tail stock set the other thing I did was change for a solid center because the revolving one had a bit of play in it so that's true in that plane now I'll put the dial indicator on the top and see what it's like there I've zeroed it there as I wind it down just one thou just over a, a thou and a quarter so the tail stock is lower by a thou and a quarter I'm just preparing this aluminium bar for turning between centres. The first job is to face off the end. And then centre drill. And the first important thing is not to go too deep with the centre drill. See with this centre drill, if I go deeper than the taper on the drill, then I'll put another diameter into there and the centre will run on the largest diameter. So do the other end. So that's prepared the bar and I'll take the chuck off, put the centres back in, ready to turn. So on the end I fitted the carrier, the centre goes into there and this bar just touches the carrier. Put the other centre in the other end. Now some carriers have a bent drive and that fits into the slot in the drive plate and that's how the bar is driven by the centers now this is very useful if you're doing screw cutting if you're making a thread and you need to test it you can remove the bar from the lathe test your thread put the bar back in the lathe and as long as you haven't moved this carrier it'll all go back into the same position ready for the next cut so I've placed it back between centres and I'm ready to take the first cut. So what I want to do is just skim this bar and then measure the diameter on each end. to take it out of the lathe, 
just slacken off the tail stock. Take that out. Now let's uh, measure. I'll put that back in and we'll measure it. That is just over nine thou. And on the other end, just over nine thou. There's less than a thou in it, and that's over about. So I've gone from about eight thou out down to less than a thou in taper over that length. Oh well, that's turning between centres and that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time on Enuts Engineering.